Whoa, she's a frosty one, lads. With no frost. I don't know how it's living. Oh my god, it's cold. It is 5.24 in the morning of a Sunday. Oh, be to God. Oh, it's race day. Oh, it's race day. Oh, lads. They got a two hour and eight minute drive. Woo! Let's do this. I'll catch us on the way down the roads. Let's go to Watergrass Hill. Jack is here. That's it. We're gonna unload the van. We're gonna go down and say hello to Colm and get some breakfast. He's got the sausages on for us, so go down and say hello. There he is down there in the 24 MX tent, so we'll go down and see how he is now in a few minutes, but we'll get set up and we'll, we'll crack on with the day. Here we are lads, we're down with Colm. Thought he had the sausages on, but he had the tea on instead, which is more important. The sausages look he's the chair now already, Chef Colm, huh? And then Yay! there's the boys, huh? <laughs> So we're, we're all set up up there, we, we've got the carton all out. Uh, we're just going to cook some toast. I'm so hungry lads. And then uh, we'll go up and show you the carton all. We've got to get the tracking done on it and uh, fill up full of petrol and get the ready to go. But yeah, we're, we're all set. Just got to start the cart really, pretty much. We're just going to go up and see what the crack is with the briefing. We're just picking column up on the way. That tea bag busted in that fucking pot. Come on, you coming? Let's uh, go for a little walk. Aiden, are you coming? Aido. There's Nay. Are you ready to go, lads? I'll see you above, right? Yeah, we'll see what's up there anyway. A little walk to the pilot, lads. Why not? What? Why not? Take me long johns off on my terminal vest. Fucking deadly, so do you. I wear them all the time in winter. You're yeah. outside, you're outside. You want to wear them, yeah, yeah. The fucking only job underneath the work. Goes pads. prepared, yeah. lads, huh? And uh, then I'd have a fucking, what do you call the yoke around the neck? Snood, oh, lad. Snood, yeah. Snood. Oh, lad, that Get fucking. Get the shoe. I was up in the airport for a few years doing that runway. Fuck me, some wind up yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm not going to shift glass like up in the <laughs> yeah. 
water, mate. Oh, no. Some water. Hey, you could have been walking in that up in fucking Rainwood. But I tell you what, lads, we're going to have to blow out all the talking in this fucking video anyway, aren't we? Yeah. Fucking the fuck, fuck, fuck. Leading by example there, Kieran. Well done. No language was blurred in the making of this video. <laughs> so here we go, lads. At long last, we're cock locked and ready to rock. We're out on the test session. From Cork. The last round of the TKC. And unfortunately, it's my last round. I'm not even going to make the deep plate. The deep plate's actually tomorrow. And then. Uh, We've no cared anymore. She's a goner. Unfortunately, uh, my health isn't great. And it's just after uh, this this race kind of hurt me for a good three months afterwards. Maybe you can say, "Look, it's easy." And I ended up just saying to myself, "You know, I can't do it. You don't want to do so. It's just what it is." I'm going to go around here and just bop around them. Not knowing that's our last five moment of that. Just gonna go ahead and set some times. Make sure that the transponder's working and up there. I love this track, lads. Absolutely love this track. Just come in dawdling away. And I don't have new tires for this race. Unfortunately. previous round in the White River, which is the worst case scenario, I'm flying on them still lads, we have some great results today, some savage racing, like this is the best racing I think I've done all season in the last couple of, the last couple of rounds I think I've started to really progress in my, my driving and that, like and I've been just more clinical on my overtaking and stuff, and, ugh. Probably seeking a bit too premature, lads, but I tell you what, there's some savage racing to watch out for in this, this little video. I got a little video, it's like 40 minutes long or so. Jesus, what's the ad? He's a talk to that chap. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's over. I have to try the, the test session done. And uh, Aiden Collins is actually a front of the So we had a few newcomers in this race. Uh, questionable how things went down, but. We're not going to dwell on spilt milk, and we're not going to uh, we're not going to get down to the nitty gritty on whose fault is what and what was happening. It's just what it is. Unfortunately, uh, unfortunately for Johnny Davy, that's all. That's, I'm not joking. In fact, I feel so bad for the guy. He had a cracking season, and to lose, uh, he needed a miracle to happen. He needed Simon not to win at all. Uh, he needed Simon to actually just stop racing for the day, not to tore up. We're just back in from the practice, lads. Good little session, didn't send it too much, just got around it. There goes Peter, there goes Peter struggling away. There's Jack now, so we're just uh, waiting on the heat one to come up and see how she goes. Exciting times ahead. I'm starting in sixth in the first race, and Jack is in fifth in the inside, and I'm on the outside. So he's got to send the Hail Mary down in that corner. I will. <laughs> I will. And I will. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, in the second heat, I'm in fifth and Jack is in sixth. So, yeah, looking forward to it, lads. Season of it. Here we are, lads. Tax 165 just got called. So, I want to make our way up and watch a bit of the gearbox racing. So, I might catch a bit of that on the footage. I'm going to go up a Peter and Jackarini. Half Italian. So, yeah, that's going to go for it, boys. I might pick up Colin on the way unless he's already there. Lads, I tell you what, she's some walk. Some hill. Oh, be the god. We've wrecked by the end of the day now, this. Yeah, I might get you some bit. Get a bit of footage now of the gearbox cars that are out. But then the Rotax 165 are out afterwards, so we'll get some footage then at least anyway. Colin's nowhere to be seen. Yeah. Old teapot. Tell you what, lads, we we'll have to be sent for a good cup of tea. You can't beat a good cup of tea. And then after the Rotax 165s, the uh, Ayami Cadets are out, I think, and then it's us. I get a bit of footage now of the racing. Let's go for it. 
so lads, here we go, we just watch a bit of gearbox. And uh, we have the one six fives up after this as well, as far as I can remember. And I just had a little bit of a video with them. Just to show you some different diversity in racing, lads, and the speed. Of course we've got a lad just out there spun on the track, I don't think he can get the cart going. This is only their uh, I think this was their test as well, yeah, they were they were after us, so this was just their test session. So as I was saying there, lads, about Johnny, like it was just shocking and unfortunate that uh, things didn't pan out the way he needed it and we had we were all like there was, there was like five carts involved in the tip. And um, I'm not gonna say much about it. But lads like it's nuts. I've got a lot of different video angles of it and I'm, I could include them in the video but uh, I'm not in it as well. We're all friends at the end of the day in this race and so in the Rotax 180s anyway so it's just unfortunate that uh, Johnny went from competing for first position even though he needed points to go his way and things like that he was still able to mathematically win it. It's unfortunate to go from potential first into third place because he couldn't finish races right and stuff like that. This is racing lads isn't it? Unfortunate Johnny's not actually racing in the T plate this year, as far as I can remember as well. Neither is Jack. There's a couple of newcomers though that are after entering into the T plate, so it's going to be a great race now. For fairness to the lads like tomorrow. Uh, seeing Sean Spratz there, with no Simon Bolton, as far as I can remember now. Um, shout out to Tom Gochran though. Hope you're in it, buddy. Seeing you were looking to get in. No battle, man. Get the elbows out, buddy. Boxes here and then we're into the one packs 165s and uh, I think it's only like a brief little stint I show up of it and we're cracking into our own race. Here's some fast lads in the 165s, lads are absolute lunatics. McCart Motorsport. Shout out to Barry McCart as well. You buy it. I'll tell you what lads, you see the gripe there? The little wing cutter. She's some bounce off that when you hit her at some speed. You see that coming and you're like, oh no. <laughs> Absolutely send it. You see one of these lads going in. Oh, there we go, the third down the last lad. Did you? Nuts lads, it's some bump in that. We're uh, out next, the Ayami X, the, uh, yeah, the junior Audi. Yeah, the, the, the X30 Cadets or whatever is out first now, they're in a nice up. We're all rocking. Got Colin, Colin, Colin O'Callaghan in first, Aidan Collins in second, Michael Wilson in third, Simon Bowen in fourth, Jack is in fifth, I'm in sixth, we got Peter in seventh, we got a newcomer, John, in eighth. We've got David Flynn in ninth, and then Johnny is in tenth. Lads, let's have a great day today. It's going to be cracking. Uh, let's get it going. See how she goes, boys. So here we go. Heat one. We start in P6. Wow. What a race. It's absolutely nuts, lads. Make it break the first moment though, isn't it? Now they say, make it break the first moment. Yeah. We did alright, yeah, I suppose. That was the first moment I'm getting to worry about. The boys at the front are going to set the pace for us. I haven't watched any of these races back since the day I haven't. 
Not since the day it raced. It's time! Oh, Aiden caught us off. Simon just jumped up into Thor. Got John, Aiden, Jack, Michael, Johnny Davies coming up my inside. Oh, little t oh, oh! Be the guard, lads. Thought we were Aer Lingus there for a second, taking off. There's John. So unfortunately, there was four carts in the crash. And the comp. On the comp. Let's get an instant replay of that. That's insane. About making that time back now. To be fair, then, lads, you'll see after the race, drove the entire race without the. Uh, I drove it on the safety cable on the brakes. The bar itself got got disconnected from the little love tap. So here we go and beat up. When do we make the when do we make the lunge? You're not in the gym here, buddy, but you're gonna do the lunge anyway. Oh we got him on the inside coming around. So that must mean we're up into what about seventh, maybe sixth. <laughs> I have no idea what position I'm in on the totally side of the race, let's crack it. Let's go. Back up the speed. Surprisingly, the cart wasn't damaged one bit. Like it only had a drop nose on it and the uh, the cable for the brakes. That was all. It was absolutely buzzing with that thing. Now we're on to the tour lap. Oh. Such a fast track. So it's after uh, messing around with my camber on the front of the wheels to just to uh, not use the whole inside of the tire because it was just out of bit too much of an angle and it was just eating the inside of the tile. But I tell you what lads, she, she turns in exactly where you wanted to go. There's Johnny on the left and there's Aiden on the left. Fortunately for the lads to get to do their own tire heat. Was it the second corner you'd say? Shout out to Kales Cole and Mike Cole, two guys standing at the end of the, the end of the gantry, just coming into the first corner on the straight, waving me on and giving me a bit of encouragement and let me know what was happening behind me and stuff. Check out Kales on uh, Facebook and Instagram. I think as far as I know, she's on too. There they are, just on the left. Be the guard. That wheel is just giving them a wave as well. Really, just trying this entire race to, to catch the group on ahead of us. And it's unfortunate because we had the pace to stick with the whole entire group from the very beginning. I felt very confident going into this to this race. 
It's such a day for it, the weather. No rain. No rain even on the horizon, lads. There was no way it was going to be like the last race when it was rain halfway through and we're after been stopped on the track. No way the JJ did wet. Oh god. Oh someday. Thank God we have a good day for it today. Nice and sunny. Middle of the summer bay. Spent the spent the summer really, really working on my dad bod. It's cracking the hell time we had. Comes natural it comes natural really now at this stage to be fair. He's just sending it lads. He is just on full send. Ain't nobody got time for that. You see the boys just going around to the second to the last corner there just as we were going up onto that one. Who's this what we're catching? Just check and see what my fastest lap time around here was. Lap 11. Lap 11, we put down a 33.133. Jesus. <clears throat> I know we're not up in pace with the fastest lads in the country, lads, but we're not doing so bad, all things considered, are we? So, just walking. I'm catching these now, more so. You can put in as many fast laps as you want, as long as you're catching them. You can see the two boys are holding each other up a little bit as well, so it's, it's working in my favour. That didn't work in my favour, because that one hurt. I could feel it through the microphone. My God. Absolutely flying. Engine was running absolutely sweet as a no. And the best thing about it was we had the brakes. We had the brakes fully working. That's what happens when you send it to the right people. So now we're just waiting on a few mistakes to happen. And there we go. Sitting right up the ass of Jack. Pushing him up the track. Come on. Let's go buddy. It's on. Just sit back, let a mistake happen, let something happen. Jack tries up the inside. Own Kieran's coming up, slingshot! Oh my god, he cuts him up the inside! Oh, lads. He's sitting behind Mark now. Get a little love tap here in the back. There we go. Jack just spun, eh? Oh, lord. Jack just spun out there from that little tip in the back and we're on the last lap lads, oh my god, it's just non-stop, it's crazy, <laughs> oh dear god. He tries it, oh lads, I tell you what, if I had a known, if I had a known now what I knew, if I, if I knew then what I know now, I would never have went around that corner trying to overtake Mark Morris. I would have left it to the last, second last corner there. Should never have tried to overtake him or undertake him. He still finished P5, lads. Yes! Oh, yes! Well done, Mark. Well done. Cracking race there, lads. I can't believe I just beat Jack up there on that last corner and he ended up spinning. Oh lord. Tell you what lads. Needed a defibrillator just watching that. Would have been on the phone to Mr. Buckley. There's John trying to get his car today. Dr. Buckley is my cardiologist. That's for the reference. 
Let the finger up. Give him the finger. Oh, lads. What a race, huh? Some fucking... Uh, some laughter. Poor car took an awful beating. We ended up on top of Johnny Davy. Oh, there was some crash, that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry, boys. Oh my god. Like, so the only bit of damage that we done was we got the drop nose penalty but we still kept fifth place because Jack had a spin behind us. Boys, Reverend, so the only thing that was messing now is the whole entire race we raced with this little bar missing. So let's tighten that up and uh, and, and move forward. <laughs> but yeah lads, that was a great race. We got P5, here's eight or now. Got P5 cracking lads. Just checking over a bit of footage here. A bit of noise in the background there. Cracking. Oh, lads, we might be missing one or two for the race. I know we might be missing one anyway, just John and, and Tord. He bent his back actually in the first race. So we've got Johnny and David Flynn. We've got uh, Peter Lawrence and then John's meant to be here in four and Tord, but he's not there. So I'm in fifth. Jack is in sixth. Simon Bolton is in 7th, Michael Wilson is in 8th, Colin O'Callaghan is in 10th, and Aidan is actually meant to be in ninth. he's meant to be sitting here. Aidan Collins, I'm going to have a little interview with you buddy. Oh, yeah. So, all of, the, all of the people on YouTube land here want to know yeah. why you're parked in the wrong spot. <laughs> why aren't you in the right spot? The, the, gods, oh. the gods weren't aligned. Ah, do you know what, you're thinking ahead of the game again there, because John's not going to show. Show, I don't think John will show because he went to that accident. Hopefully he does. Yeah, Hopefully he does. Hopefully he does, yeah. That's it's good. Good. one at night though. That's it. Couldn't have found. Let's see what goes like getting the track on here, lads. Let's go. So there we go, lads. Aiden's premonition came true. John didn't make the grid. His card wasn't fixed in time. He did manage to get out for the final though, so. Great news on that on that end is the back drum. We got Johnny, Davy in first, and we got Mark in second. We got Peter Lawrence in third, myself in fourth. Because I jumped up. With John not been there. Then Jack is in fifth. Not entirely sure who's in sixth. It's just all oh, the grid just moved forward from myself. Forward, see, or oh, from myself back. Johnny's cart wasn't running great now the entire heat two in the final unfortunately because of the crash. But he makes do with what he can and tries his best. But here we go lads. It's go time. What do we do at the start? Jumping. Didn't jump to start, we got into second straight up off the bat though. And we're tussling with Johnny Davy. This was a dream at the start of the season, lads. <laughs> An absolute dream at the start of the season. And here we are in the final race of the year. Sitting behind Johnny. I'm staying with you, Johnny. Johnny, staying with you, Johnny. Savage pace, lads. The cart is just an animal to go. Look at how much it just pulls on the straight, like. Oh, Simon Bowen. He just thought he was giving you Reikonen. Shut up! Get the fuck out the way. Look at the time we just lost all of a sudden. Somebody got a white flag on. Some form of flag been shown. Lost a little bit of time there, going out way too wide. That, uh, that I'm after thinking of it. Whatever that was that was been handed out was been given to Michael Wilson. Apparently, he got a little bit of a penalty. The 
straight line speed in this go kart is absolutely insane. Just goes like an absolute lunatic. You see him after pulling back Johnny in there. And granted, his kart's not going entirely the way he wants it, like you know. But give gratitude to the go kart. You're an animal. Funny thing was, I was. That was rude, Michael. That's very rude of you. Overtaking me because I'm slow. Oh, yeah. Could have been like Jack in the last race and give me a little tip up the arse to say, Come on, boss. Get a move on. I'm going to overtake you. The child screaming in the background because he's going to see his daddy lose another place, maybe. Oh, my God. Michael's going up the inside of him. Can he make it stick? And then around, coming around this one, he has to go for it. Oh, he sent the Hail Mary. Johnny's coming back with the fuller grace. Oh, and he sticks the Hail Mary. Lord graciously fucking hear us. Sorry lads, but we're not religious really in any, in any sense here at all. Had a bad experience with a priest when I was a young fella. Got me on the aisle. Does that look like sweet corn to you? Who would have thought that? Sweet corn tastes so good and chocolate. Ah, right, Johnny, get it up the road, will ya? Look at the straight line speed here, lads. That's insane, like... Stick it, go on. Sent the Hail Mary there again, lads, I tell you what. We're up at the third position. We're up in the third. Why couldn't this be the final? We're not too far behind Michael, and Michael's an absolute savage. Could have been on the power a little bit earlier there, in fairness, couldn't you, Kieran? That was the fastest lap I did in this. Heat two. Tell you, lads, speed hive is the job. Be the god! Can't believe this. 32.945. And in the previous he was what? 33.133. So he shaved off a good two tenths thereabouts. Not too bad. Considering that Simon set the fastest lap of this race at 32.603, so that's 3. Point, that's 0.342 slower. Just a little over three tenths slower. Last time I was counting any kind of tenth, that's was definitely near Glastonbury. Tell you, we're not doing badly at all sitting behind you see you see Simon just coming up onto the last corner there so it's coming up on up on that little straight. I'm not doing too bad to sit behind Michael and to try and reel him in. It'd give you a lot of enthusiasm and a lot of uh, motivation going into the final looking at this, wouldn't it lads, huh? I wonder how the final gets on. We've got a little bit of a a little bit of something special for the final life. I would feel. There's Simon on the on the home straight. Fair sure I seen Johnny pulled over somewhere in uh, in this race as well. 
don't think he finished it, man. If he did finish it, he finished near the back, unfortunately. Tell you, that's it's some absolute laugh, and I am so sick that I can't do it anymore. in this race now, especially that Kales and Mike were uh, really helping me out a little bit, as little did I know that in fairness, that uh, I didn't know that Michael had a little penalty, so all I needed to do was sit, sit close to him. I didn't know that, and I was pushing. It was just as well I was pushing, because if I wasn't pushing, I was going to fall, fall behind them. I wouldn't have uh, been able to keep with him, say, because I was falling behind. And imagine how that works, lads. Huh? Common sense kicking in there. Be the god. Bit of understeer. Or oversteer, sorry, boss. Michael just pulling away now that I was trying to big myself up. Last lap. Last lap. And we're sitting in third place. So at this point in time, I'm just sitting there, lads. I'm like, yo, it's last lap and I'm third place. Let's just get it home. Don't do anything stupid. I don't know if I was looking behind me, to be fair. I think I was just, in this race, uh, this day in the race, I was especially just focusing on my own race. And... Thankfully I did, because it's a cracking out race, lads. There we take the checkered finishing P2. P2, lads. Unbelievable. Michael had a little bit of a penalty. Don't know what it was for. I think that's Colin O'Callaghan behind me. Colin was pushing me the whole way, and he came up to me after the race, and he was like, oh, be the jeez. You, uh... You just kept putting the cart in, in the exact spot that you needed to, like, it done a great defensive drive, and uh, I own an awful lot of that there now to Aaron Cochran, shout out to Aaron, winner of the Formula Boss 2022 Championship, and uh, he always told me, run your own race, why worry about anybody that's behind you, they're behind you. You know, so now here we go, lads, just weighing myself, like, I, I'm absolutely, it's the first time I think I ever wanted to weigh myself. So this was just first, second and third, so it's Simon, Michael and myself, and then I ended up getting pushed up into second. Because of that penalty or so, I was like, yeah, boy, yeah, right there, boys. Hi, Jesus, and bits. Ha. <laughs> So, um, yeah, the finals in the next video. Um, just a little bit on uh, the scrutiny and all that. A little bit of a problem, actually, in the in Heat 2, that they didn't have the guy that you've seen in the high vis there. He didn't have his second page that had my second, my, my say, left front and rear tires wrote down on it, and he didn't have it. I was getting disqualified. I had to just fight, 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 and uh, ended up getting the position that they uh, just forgot to give him the extra sheet. Yeah, because you can only allowed to use a certain tyre and all of it, you nominate and stuff. So, yeah, I got lucky that I uh, persisted on getting that and we finished P2. Absolutely buzzing, so all geared up for the final. Bring it on.